when we open Delphi, you should get to a screen like this. These are recent projects. So the ones you worked on previously. So yours will be empty. Mine, I've got all my grade 11 projects that's there. So that's why they're all there. But with you guys, because you haven't started yet, this should be like blank. So what we'll do, um, maybe just uh, back up on this. So Delphi, is, we call it an IDE. IDE is a program that helps us to code in a specific language. So what we're doing, we're going to code in the language in the background. It's actually Pascal, which is actually a very old language. But I showed you that, um, well, I actually showed the 11s, that it's very similar to Java. They had a big, um, the grade 11s was really worried. They really wanted to do Java and stuff. Unfortunately, we don't have a choice. Um, the Department of Education said we must do this. So that's why we're doing this. But I showed them that the resemblance between the Delphi code, which is actually Pascal, and Java code is very much related. It's like small things that's different, but it's so easy to learn the difference between the two. All right, so that's why we do. So we, I teach you Delphi, but actually you're learning Pascal, which is that language. But then with that, if you sort of follow the ways that I'm going to teach, we follow an algorithmic method of teaching, then you can actually change over to any other language very easily. What's nice about Delphi and with Java, if we use NetBeans as IDE for Java, it's GUI based. So GUI is graphical user interface. That means we can use buttons and the mouse cursor. It's not just written. It's not just text based. So it actually looks nice and it is nice to work with. All right. So where we start, we're going to go file. Then you go new. And then you'll choose a VCL forms application. So this is the one you always choose. This, the unit one, that you'll use in grade 12. I'll teach you to use the unit one and why we would use it then. But for the whole grade 10 and for the whole grade 11, at all stages, we'll just use this one. Please don't get confused with this one. This is the wrong one. We must choose this one because this one is the application. This is, one, this is the one that has actually got the program that will run it for us. So we need to choose the VCL Forms application. We'll click, click that and then you'll get your screen like this. So mine says Form 2 and Unit 2. Um, it's because I, I saved the previous one that sort of now lets all my stuff start with 2. But yours, your first one should be 1. Um, I think let's just quickly test it. Let's get it on. So with this one, bottom right corner, if you click and drag on this block, you can actually make it bigger and smaller. This is our form. So you'll see, if you click play here, what we've done is that this, so you've actually already got a program that's sort of just blank, but it's, it's there. You've got your own screen that you created. So you'll see on your toolbar, there should be like a play button. And if you click that, there's your program. However, just remember, we haven't saved it yet. Now, the saving is actually very important. So, when you want to save, use this double save button, the save all. It's got the two stiffies, or two you know, disks. So, if you click on that one, it's going to ask you someplace to save. Please never click save here. Because it will save it in a folder that's inside a folder, inside another folder. And it wants to put everything there, and your programs will actually overwrite each other. So your first program will work fine, but then once you start working with your next program, and you save it in the same place, the second one will work, but your first one won't work anymore, because now some of the files will be overwritten. So please never click save here. And it is difficult. After you click save the first time, if you save it here, it is not an easy thing to actually move it to another place. We can't just click save as again, and then it won't go to another place. So you have to save it right the first time. So when you're here, I want to suggest you can either go to your desktop or go to your My Documents. When you're in your documents, click New Folder, and maybe call it um, Delph Delphi Projects. 
maybe that project get it in. So I clicked on the left by documents. Okay, so I clicked the double save. And it asked me where I clicked on documents on the left. Then I went new folder. I created a folder called Delphi Projects Create 10. You click open, which just closes that, and you click open again. And you get into this new folder. Inside, they click another new folder. And let's call this one Program 1. So these ones, we can start giving them better names later on. Like when we're doing a calculator, we'll call it a calculator. When we work on our shapes, we'll maybe call it shapes. And so we can call this folder something better later on. Then you just say open again, which just saves that. And then you just click open again. And then inside there, you can click save. You'll see the unit.2 pass. You can save there. Then it asks you for another one, which is your project one. And also save that in there. So both of them should be saved in the same folder. So now, to look at what we've got here, this is like our form. This is where we're going to put everything. On the left, bottom here, we've got properties of the component we're looking at. Top left is the structure. So it's all the components we've got will be listed there. Top right is our files that we're busy using. So this one you won't use as much. Maybe in grade 12, it will be start using nice to see all the units that we've got. And then here, bottom right, is our tool palette. This is our key one. This is the one that will actually, where we'll get all our components from. So I think what we'll do now, just so that we've got something nice to see what's happening, um, there's lots of different components in here. When you expand them, you'll see that plus. If you click on the pluses, it expands and gives you options. So inside our standard, you'll see there's a T button. Now, generally, as we go along, you'll start remembering that buttons are the things that we work with. So, yeah, on the bottom right corner, we've got now all the components we're going to use. So, you don't need to actually go look for them. Like, for now, we know we want to use a button. So, you can click there by that search bar just on top of the tool palette. And you can start typing like B-U-T because we know we're going to use a button. Then you'll see all of them start with a T. They just like all the components to start with a T, but what we're doing is we need a T button. So you can click on the T button, and then you can click inside your program, and then you should have a button there. All right, so then once you've got the components there, like if, if you select the button, you'll see the properties now is everything with the button. So for us, um, the caption is the part that the user will see. So the, but the caption of the button, you can actually call whatever you want to. So let's just click, uh, let's call it welcome. welcome. So by caption, you can type, and you'll see as you change that there, it changes here, what the user sees. So let's just play, let's see what we can see, and they will see this is what we've done. So there's our screen, and we created a welcome button that you can click, but it won't do anything yet, because we didn't give it instructions as yet. And then every time you do something, you can just click that double save again. And you'll see this time you don't need to say where. It will save it there by itself. That. So what we can do, you'll see here on the bottom, there's like tabs. There's a code section, design, and history. If you click on design, you here by your GUI. And if you click by code, you're in the code section. If you, What we will do is we'll actually want to, now at this stage, you can double click on your button. And then it will put you here, and you'll see it's called Procedure T Form 2, and, and then it's called Button 1 Click. So the code that we sit uh, that we will write between the beginning and the end, the beginning ends like brackets for us. This is like an open bracket and a closed bracket. So everything that's in between here will happen when button 1 is clicked. So this is sort of that's going to help us now to do what we want to do and then yeah so if you want to go back you can just click on the design then you back here again you can put more components down and then if you double click your button you back here again with what instruction should happen when the button is clicked okay once we're in this code section 
I think what we'll do with this button, just going back here, so this welcome button, maybe let's, when this button is clicked, that it brings up like a message that's just welcoming. Welcome user to my, or hello world. Generally programmers always want the first program just to say the words hello world. So let's do that. So we double click on our button, we get to this code section. And now what we'll do is, so with coding, with Delphi, it is case sensitive. So capital letters and stuff matters. Um, so what we'll write, oh no, it's not case sensitive, sorry, cancel it. It's not, but we'll use show message. So what I've done, you'll see, I just started, we want a pop-up box with a message. So you just start typing S -O -S -H -O -W. So some of these things you need to learn a bit. So especially grade 10s, I want to say until June, there's quite a bit of coding that you sort of have to learn the idea of it. Like show message, you need to just sort of remember it a bit. But if you do know, you can just start typing it, like I've typed show, then something that will really help you. And now on the bottom left of your keyboard, there's a control button, that CTRL, a CTRL button, and then the space bar. So what you'll do is type in show, and then while you, like just after the W, press control space. What it does, it actually gives you a list of all the things you can do that starts with the word show. So for us, we want to use show message. So then you can just double click on that one and it actually types it for you. And then inside quotes, because we, because we just want to give it a message. In quotes, you will just write, hello world. So obviously you can change that message to anything you want to. But let's for now call it hello world. Then you'll click save. Then you'll click play. Let me show you what you've done. So you'll get your screen. Now if you click this button, you get a message saying hello world. And that will be the start of your first program. All right. So the next thing I want to show all of you. So I asked you to just add another button for me. But while you're doing that, I want to just show you something. If you do... If you put two forward slashes, you'll see they become green. This is called comments. So you can write like notes for yourself. So I would suggest, especially when, I'm starting, when you're starting new programs like this, and you learn new things, to use comments a lot. So if I was you, and I had the show message, hello world, I would put two forward slashes at the end, so it goes green, and then I'll say... This uh, displays this plays with a pop up box box. So with this, when it goes to four slashes, this these comments is just like information for yourself. So you can put your own comments there, sort of explaining to you what does each of these lines do. So that when you look at these programs again later on, you can remember. Oh, why did we do this? Oh, this display is using a pop-up box. Then we know, okay, that's what this does again. Then it will sort of remind you what each piece does as we move along. So these two forward slashes, and then you can give it a, a sentence. Um, and you can have it a lot of times. Like you can go two forward slashes, then run, write a lot of things there again as well if you wanted to. So you can give yourself like notes inside the program. So that if you print it, you've got it with you, or if you just go through these programs again. It, with Twitch app. Delphi. Exit. All right. Every time you do something, remember to always, after you typed something or did something, just click that two save buttons. You'll click it once and it will just disappear. It becomes gray like that, then you know everything you've done is saved so far. Then you can click play.